Turning now to our story, 18 News has been following out of Tioga Borough, Pennsylvania. Officials are met today, met today for a special council meeting following the controversial and subsequent resignation of Officer Timothy Lohman. Let's quickly break down the timeline of the events. Officer Timothy Lohman was sworn in to the Tioga Borough force on July 5th, and after protests from community members two days later, Lohman withdrew his application. Lohman is the same officer who shot and killed 12-year-old Tamir Rice in Cleveland back in 2014. The grand jury did not indict Lohman for the incident, but he was fired later in 2017 for reportedly providing false information on his job application. Now, in a special session this evening, council members held a public meeting to discuss the next steps following Lohman's withdrawal of his application, as well as the resignation of the council's president. I went to the special session and spoke with town officials and community members on their reaction and plan moving forward. Like many community members in Tioga Borough, Crystal Jones couldn't believe the town council had hired Timothy Lohman, the same former Cleveland, Ohio police officer who had drawn national attention after he shot and killed 12-year-old Tamir Rice back in 2014. I was like, holy cow, it's, the, it's like the same person. Everybody here was outraged. People were messaging people. We already had a protest planned. The outrage that the community felt initially about one week ago when the former Cleveland off police officer was hired is still lingering right now. You risk the public safety by allowing that officer to be hired. The special meeting spurred with questions. Community members trying to figure out how he was hired. Whose responsibility was it to do the background check? We just want answers and we definitely don't want it to happen again. <laughs> Town officials at the special session placed the blame on misinformation from former council president Steve Hazlitt, who recently resigned. I kept up with them through the meetings, asking them if anything was flagged, anything came up, anything looked bad on any of them, and they kept saying no. I was just blatantly misled from, from the beginning on, um, on who he was. Despite the commotion and outcries at the beginning, the meeting ended with cheers from the crowd and some sense of resolution. It feels like we actually got something done. The resignations, uh, some clarity. Um, we got the attention of the attorney general. According to town officials, Pennsylvania State Attorney General Josh Shapiro is currently investigating the failure to conduct a background check, stating in a letter that this is a violation of state law. Current council members have said they will cooperate. Now the town left with no police officer is just trying to get back to normal. We want to get back to a nice sleepy town. We enjoy being a town with no red light and I would rather have no police officer than a bad police officer.